Welcome to the ACE Pilot Academy. Today, we will be learning about combustion heater systems. Have you ever wondered how the aircraft can provide heated air? There are various heater systems that can be used. Today, we will focus on the heater system commonly found on multi-engine aircraft, the combustion heater. Combustion heaters, or surface combustion heaters, are used to heat the ventilated cabin air of multi-engine aircraft. Heated air can be used for cabin air for passenger comfort, as well as for windshield defogging. A combustion heater consists of an airtight combustion chamber with a metal jacket. This type of heater burns the aircraft's fuel in a combustion chamber to develop required heat. Ventilation air flows around the outside of the chamber within the metal jacket, absorbing the heat and is ducted to the cabin. When the heater control switch is turned on, airflow, ignition, and fuel are supplied to the heater. Airflow and ignition are constant within the combustion chamber while the heater control switch is on. Fuel is sprayed into the combustion chamber by a fuel solenoid, which is controlled by a thermostat, which senses ventilation air temperature. When the thermostat senses that heat is required, it turns on the fuel solenoid that allows fuel to be sprayed into the combustion chamber. Because airflow and ignition are constant when the switch is on, the fuel mixes with air inside the chamber and is ignited by the spark plug. Ventilation air flowing over the outside of the combustion chamber and inside the jacket of the heater absorbs the heat and carries it through the ducts into the cabin. As the thermostat reaches its preset temperature, it turns off the fuel solenoid and stops the flow of fuel into the combustion chamber. When ventilation air cools to the point that the thermostat senses that heat is required again, the thermostat turns the fuel solenoid on. The burner starts again. The byproduct, carbon monoxide, leaves the aircraft through the heater exhaust pipe. This method of heating ventilation air is very safe as an automatic overheat switch is provided on all combustion heaters, which will electronically shut off the fuel in the case of malfunction. In the unlikely event that both the heater fuel pump and overheat switch fail, it can be shut off by a mechanical overheat switch, stopping all fuel flow to the system. More importantly, as compared to heater systems used on single-engine aircraft that rely on the engine's exhaust, carbon monoxide poisoning is unlikely to occur in combustion heater systems on multi-engine aircraft. Combustion heaters have low pressure in the combustion tube that is vented through its exhaust into the airstream. The ventilation air on the outside of the combustion chamber has a higher pressure than on the inside, and ram air increases the pressure on the outside of the combustion tube. In the event a leak develops in the combustion chamber, the higher pressure air that is outside the chamber would travel into the chamber and out the exhaust. There are many different types of aircraft heating systems that are available depending on the type of aircraft. Regardless of the type, it's always important to reference the specific aircraft operator's manual and become knowledgeable about the heating system. Manufacturers often suggest a cool-down period when shutting down a combustion heater, as failure to provide an adequate cool-down might trip the automatic overheat switch and render the heater inoperative until the switch is reset. Let us review. Combustion heater systems enable cabin heat for passenger comfort and windshield defogging. Combustion heater systems burn aircraft fuel in a combustion chamber to heat air flowing around the combustion chamber ducted to the cabin. When the heater system is on, the thermostat activates the fuel solenoid to spray fuel into the combustion chamber. Heat from the combustion chamber is transferred to cabin air flowing around it. An automatic overheat switch and mechanical overheat switch prevent the heater system from operating in the case of malfunction. Carbon monoxide poisoning is unlikely to occur in combustion heater systems as compared to heater systems found in single-engine aircraft. Thanks for joining us at the ACE Pilot Academy. See you next time!